So I get sent uh, DVDs and Blu-rays out of the blue. Sometimes the, the way this whole thing works is I get press releases from various companies and I will, they'll say, hey, this is coming out if you want to cover it. And sometimes it'll look good and I'll say, yes, I generally don't grab anything that I think won't be good. So that's why the majority of what I talk about, unless it's theatrical, uh, here is going to be stuff I like because I already have said, well, that looks good to me. And occasionally they'll just send me stuff out of the blue that I don't expect is coming. And it's even more fun for me because I love going into movies blind and just letting them work to on me on their own terms. And this was one of them from Unearthed Films on Blu-ray is 2015's Subura, which, which sounds Japanese, but it's Italian the way I said it. Uh, it it's Italian film uh, about uh, corruption in Italy, corruption on so many levels. It is, it is a, a grim crime, dr intricate and grim crime drama that spawned at least one season of an Italian TV show that uh, basically expanded on the ideas and storyline of this film based on a novel originally, I learned in the extras. So what is Sobura about? How long you got? It's really good. This was really good. This is beautifully shot, really well executed, including a lot of people in the back of the head. Uh, it's basically, I'll give you a little bit of the story. I don't like to give you too much of the story. Basically, it is uh, the eve of something big political happening in Italy in 2011. And this uh, member of the cabinet, this member of a, the government, he's like a, let's say he's like a senator or a congressman. Let's just say that for lack of me actually understanding what was going on in the film. Uh, he, and he, this is a man who loves his prostitutes and drugs. And he has a wonderful, for him, a really wonderful night of that up until something very, very bad happens. And then people are called to help clean up this situation. And one thing leads to another. And things get very bad for a lot of people. And it's fascinating. It's, it's almost like it's like an incredibly dark Seinfeld episode that's not funny and a lot of people get killed and brutalized, if that makes any sense, in terms of you just see how all these characters, it's a very large cast, it's all these levels of, of criminality or government, sometimes both, who uh, intersect with each other and just the, the whole house of cards comes down in just in flames in this film. It's very compelling. It's very depressing. It's, it's, it's in, I can remind me of the, of the Sopranos, which was a great show that I loved watching that series. I was like, yeah, any of these people can die at any time. These people are all just terrible. They're all dirtbags. Almost nobody is innocent on this show. And that's what it's like in this film, like just about everybody in this is just a dirtbag, is is uh, just a, not a good person. And it's just so many levels of double dealing and revenge and deals made to prevent people from getting brutalized or killed. And it just is a horror show, but really, really well done. So who is this for? If you're interested in Italy, if you're interested in films about Italy, if you're interested in Italian uh, government and crime and the underworld type culture, uh, it's really well done. It's really, really well done. If you like shows like The Sopranos or all these sort of dark TV shows with a lot of characters and a lot of intricate intertwine. I'm doing a lot of hand jive here. Uh, intertwinings and all that. This film is really, really well done. And apparently, if you like this, there is a TV series that can be found. I think it's on the MHZ streaming service here in the U.S. That uh, is an Italian TV show that is at one or two seasons that basically takes the same story but spreads it out over time and it's just a lot more intricate telling of the story or more leisurely telling of the story. Um, the film was 135 minutes, never felt long, never felt boring to me. It has a making of that is 125 minutes. So the, the making of is only slightly shorter than the film itself. And it, I watched about half of it last night and it digs deep. It gets into the whole production. It gets into the characters, the actors, the settings, the shootings, what inspired it, how they decided to adapt it. It's a really well done documentary. You get a production gallery that's a 10 minute series of stills set to the score. You get the teaser trailer that's a minute, and you get the theatrical trailer that is uh, a minute and a half. This was really, really good. This is the kind of thing that will, like so many foreign uh, productions now, will fly under the radar of so many people. But if you don't mind reading subtitles, it is so well made. This isn't like this half-assed, thrown-together cheapy. This looks gorgeous. This is really well done. Performances are excellent. If you love your nudity, you get your nudity. If you love your violence, you get your violence. If you love seeing people do drugs, you get that. If you love seeing car accidents, you do that. If you love seeing people get hit by cars, you got that. It's got it all. <laughs> from 2015, available on Blu-ray from Unearthed Films is Sabura, which is S-U-B-U-R-R-A, for those of you who want to type it out.